this little girl had just gotten off the metro with her mom. You know, we were passing out flyers. She just stopped. She was staring. I asked, do you know her? She looks up at me and she says, she looks just like me. Every time I look at this picture, it makes me emotional. There's so many missing people of color in the U.S. African Americans remain missing four times longer than white Americans. That number is alarming. We hear from families all the time. The police is turning us away. The media wouldn't respond. Looking for a missing daughter. And it drove me and my sister-in-law, Natalie, to want to do something about it to help these other families. Because if not us, who? It's our job to bring them home. Thank you for calling Black and Missing Foundation. The police was like, how you know she just ain't leave? The detective kept saying she ran away. And I'm like, she didn't run away. It was like a punch in the face. When a black person is in distress, missing, it's not a big deal to law enforcement because they don't think we have much to lose. This one always gets me just remembering when she was a little girl. You blame yourself because it's never done. My sister went missing in 2009. But all the major news stations, nobody would talk to me. Gwen Eiffel coined the term missing white woman syndrome. If you don't meet those criteria, blonde hair, blue eyes, your stories are not newsworthy. Here's my niece. She's missing. Her story is just as compelling. We have nothing for our missing people except black folks spit and grit. That's why I'm on 10 right now. And this is not one and done. We no. will be back. We don't want families to ever give up on hope. One year, five, 10, 20, we have seen miracles happen. These men and women that are going missing look like my siblings or look like my parents and my grandparents. They matter. Our community matters.